believe that we should be able to make ourselves available for you at about one o'clock, if, that if that's okay. The normal rate is $100, half an hour, $150 for an hour, unless you want both girls. And then, you know, I'll be willing to bargain with you about that because you seem like such a nice guy. Yeah, the, these are physically my own girls. I've, I've got a really small operation, but I take real good care of them. Yeah, it gets confusing. This is like in the middle of nowhere. You, know, you can come on in. Um, you can go ahead and sit on the couch. I'm going to get a drink. Um, I, I take really good care of my girls. I like to make sure that they're safe. Be nice to them. There'll be condoms in the bedside table, so you don't have to worry about that. Is that a problem? No. Lacey, sit down. Uh, sit down. Uh, uh, sit down. Uh, I feel like as a warrior, you know, I've been a Marine, I've been a Navy SEAL, I grew up as a fighter, and, and I realized that, man, I'd spent the first half of my life going up against terrorists, serving as a counter-terrorist operator in the counter-terrorist unit, and that was a worthy contribution. But as I learned more about child trafficking and the harm and abuse of the most precious and innocent and helpless and defenseless, I just realized that I couldn't look myself in the mirror without doing what I could to combat those who are harming the children. Who am I if I can't stand up for the smallest and most defenseless and most innocent and precious among us? What kind of warrior can even look after a child? I was freshly 17 and um, grew up in a single parent home, so I never met my dad. So when I met this guy who said all the right things, and he took everything that he knew about me and used it against me. Like I had to do it or else I was gonna lose something that I felt like was holding me together because I was still a kid. The most horrible things that happened when I was out there was at the hands of the buyers and they prey on that and they just do whatever they want. Most of us start out in the business as children because what adult would make that conscious decision? Not very many. My mother had a drug problem and she wasn't pretty enough to make any money, but I was. I really wanted my mom to love me and I also didn't want her to be sick. So that's how it started. Well, at the time, I'm, you know, 11, 12 years old, somebody approached me and says, you can, um, you can actually get your own place in less than a week. And I thought, get my own place in less than a week? Are you crazy? I'm 12 years old. And the guy said, you can, I can make you rich. He says, I know this man that lives up on the north side of town, and he'll pay you big money if you go and see him. I said, well, how old is he? At the time, like I said, I'm 12 years old. Well, how old is he? Well, he's 75. So that day, he took me in his car and we went up to this house. A butler answered the door. He ended up paying me $500. And the guy that took me up there gave me $50. And boy, I thought I was the richest thing in the world with my $50. I would say from the week I lost my virginity to the end of, from Monday to Monday, I probably seen 15 guys. That's how it all began.
I grew up in a very sheltered household. Uh, both of my parents were pretty successful. Just unhappy. I had a very low self-esteem and I ended up running away from home when I was very young. I met a 30-year-old man who asked me if I wanted to go to a party and I told him yes. At the time I was still a virgin so I um, was innocent and he took advantage of that innocence. I don't ever feel like I'm going to be the same. I feel marked. V4CR has built a coalition of nonprofits and non governmental organizations, or NGOs, each addressing a different aspect of the child sex trafficking problem. Sold No More focuses on education and prevention, equipping children in schools with the knowledge of how to avoid falling victim to child trafficking. SWAT Ministries International is an NGO that trains volunteers to rescue children from traffickers and helps empower survivors with self-defense skills. Soul Survivor Inc. removes the branding tattoos from survivors to help them recover their own identities. Veterans for Child Rescue exposes the threat through creative media campaigns and directly combats child sex trafficking by running joint operations with law enforcement to arrest predators. The Rancho Milagro Foundation helps bring healing to trauma survivors in a unique manner by using equine therapy. Aspen Sawyer has received healing at Rancho Milagro. Our comprehensive coalition does more together than each organization could do by itself, each using its unique gifts and skills to help overcome the trauma of child sex trafficking. must not be tolerant of that which will kill us or that which will destroy our children. This is a situation that we can defend all American children and really all the children across the globe. I would like for this to grow into a global cause. Real men are strong and we are protectors of the defenseless and we certainly do not prey upon the defenseless and precious children. Knock it off or we're coming for you. The public needs to hold authorities accountable for going after these pedophiles that are abducting, assaulting, and raping children. We need stronger laws and stronger politicians who will enforce those laws in order to make this happen. Never hesitate to stand for good and speak the truth because the light outshines the darkness every time. Fear not, you should stand up and do right. By running these operations, I can have an influence and I can prevent untold numbers of victims by getting their attackers, getting the predators off the streets, by running larger and larger programs, by warning the people that the threat exists and how to defend their children from it. And that's my healing. That's how I fight back. And that's what I've learned that I can do through V4CR. Together we are quite literally what we can't be alone. We can't be a network of people that says no more by ourselves, but we can together. There's strength in numbers. We understand what's going on now. And by alerting each other and by linking and networking and gaining power and momentum, we can beat this back and we must and we will. We will. Together, we can make the change. If you're out there praying upon the children, we're out there looking for you. And we're probably going to get you. Take action. Go to vetsforchildrescue.org.